These aerial acrobatics aren't just great to watch. For these women, it's a full body workout. Boosting not only their fitness, but also their confidence. When you tell people that you do pole, you get a lot of people that are sort of sexualize it and say, oh, well, I want to come watch your practice and be sort of weird about it. But mostly in our, in our classrooms, it's sweating and grunting and chalk on our hands and falling off the pole onto the ground and bruises. It's, it's not pretty. But Aerial Hoops is pretty popular. Arch the booty. In the last three years, instructor Marika Watt says interest has rocketed and there's classes running every day of the week. It's super rewarding because you see girls that come in and they're really not sure what they've got themselves into and they're like, I don't know about this. And then they do it and you can just see their faces light up when they get a move or when they um, finally get something that they didn't think they'd ever achieve and so that for me is what it's all about. I like to move in the air and just make all these different shapes and everything and I just find hoop really cool. It doesn't have as much of a stigma as pole, so it's a really good way to get people used to um, aerial arts without feeling like you're a stripper. These women want to change the negative sexualized stereotypes about the industry. They want people to appreciate the strength and skill required to control your body while dangling in the air. Only with time, a lot of these aerial sports and these aerial acrobat things are going to move in into that a lot more away from the dance, maybe into that gymnast sort of vibe. I can definitely see a future um, full of competitions and full of, yeah, more exposure. For most, hoops is the next step after learning pole performance, but all agree pole performance is much harder. It's going to be what you want it to be. Now I go to playgrounds and I like go on the monkey bars and try and climb trees and you get so much satisfaction out of being strong. You can come in here and you can just decide that you just want it to be a hobby or you can come in here and you can decide that you want to make a career out of it. So yeah, at the end of the day it's what you want it to be and how hard you're going to work and how much you love it. Hunter Calder, Local Focus.